pictures that I also had at that time in my life, and they would have painted the story that they always paint. When it was all said and done, they ended up uh, popping. There was five of us that got, that got hit up in this raid, uh, multiple different raids, right? Uh, three of us were black, two of us were white. Uh, myself and the other two black individuals all ended up going to prison. The two white guys that were with us never stepped foot in a prison cell. I guess the system and the prosecutor and the judge saw hope in their whiteness and hopelessness in my blackness. When I was starting, so, you know, as you can probably, maybe many of you are, you know, the statistics would say that many of you have experienced the same thing of going, of when you went to prison, when you went into prison, you were probably fairly young, right? Um, so going into prison in my early 20s, I believe, you know, I didn't really like this, you know, white lady that was saying that I'm this dangerous threat to society, but I believed and it made sense, everything that she was saying, right? So I internalized a lot of that. When I first went into prison, uh, I essentially was, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm labeled, I'm still labeled, I still have it on my record as being a career criminal. And so what she was saying is that I was going to forever be in this cycle of incarceration. Because I, there was no possible way that I could change the thinking and the way that I live my life. Um, and I believed that. So when I first, in, in the early time of my incarceration, I essentially was just looking how to be a better drug dealer. And I was already a pretty good one. 